hey up, don't move. Not you, me. I'm just booting up the old PC. If you're non-initiated, that means switching on my computer. To the non-initiated, does that make sense? Hopefully. Yeah, I saw some comments come through for the previous talkie vlog. I had to be careful, I had to turn off my email notification so that I can answer comments on the video that I did at the weekend in the snow up the mountain. That went down really well. A lot of people told me that they liked it. I really enjoyed it as well. Let me just log in to my computer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the video, the other talkie vlog, and hopefully have some content from other people. I should have done this first. Sorry. Sorry that I didn't. Video. Wootube. Tube. Is it tube or is it a tube? How the heck should I know? Sorry I spoke. Every time I switch my computer on, Adobe Flash asks me if it wants to install an update. Who uses that? Who actually uses that? Right, come on, come on. My channel. My channel. Videos, talkie vlog nine, give me your ideas. Who oh, don't play, I don't want to see you. Ugh. Right. Let's hope there's actual questions. I'm sure I'm sure there will be. At least one from Jeff or something. Right, so the worst vlog on YouTube, that's my mate Darren, and that's what his channel is actually called. I'm not saying that he is the worst vlog on YouTube, but that's what he calls himself. 1914, you'll be off to war then. It's not actually a question, Darren, but I like it. Thanks for taking part. Peter Howarth, you suddenly received 10 million. What do you spend it on? 10 million what? Elephants? My teacher used to say that. If you didn't put a pound sign at the end, he'd be like, 10 million elephants? Yeah, because people use them as currency all the time. God, I wish I was old enough at the time. No, that wouldn't make sense. If I was old enough at the time to say what I was about to say, I wouldn't be at primary school. Scratch that off. If I got 10 million quid, actually he's right. There was, there was a pound sign. In, after all that, there was a pound sign in front of it. So I've just made a mockery of somebody that was actually grammatically correct. If I won 10 million pounds or suddenly received it, depends on the circumstances. You know, if I just found it, I'd probably turn it in. Because, you know, that amount of money could belong to some criminals. I don't know. But if I legitimately received £10 million, I would buy a really powerful computer, a quite nice car, and a fairly sensible house, and do a heck of a lot of travelling. How does that sound, Peter? Hopefully, that answers the question. Um, El Gibbo, shaking, low blood sugar levels after a hard workout. Yes, that was the crack. What phone are you currently rocking, Stu? I miss your reviews. Thanks, El Gibbo, for missing my reviews. I kind of, I really want to get back into them, but I just, it's just being motivated because content on that channel actually requires a bit of thought, whereas this one doesn't require thought, skill, intelligence, anything at all. I've got the Google Pixel 2, and it is fantastic. I'm recording this on it now, and it is one of the best phones I've ever had. Clearly, the later on you buy a phone, the better it's going to be. I get that. But the Samsung phones are really good, but they, they, they're a bit bloaty. There's a lot of stuff on them that I just never use. This is pure. And if you are rocking an iPhone and you're thinking of coming over to the dark side, Android, whatever you want to call it, I would strongly recommend this. Yes, it's got a big bezel at the top and bottom. Yes, I didn't go for the extra large one, the XL one. For a change, I went for the smaller model, but I don't regret it. It's You get five and a half hours plus screen time. If you use a phone that long, who would do that? I clearly don't do that. Someone told me that. Someone said to me that you could use it for about five and a half hours with the screen on. They said that and I believe them because why would they lie to me, you know? I've got, they're an acquaintance, they're a friend obviously, clearly. They're talking to me about their phone. I believe them. Point being is, fantastic phone. Might do reviewing at some point as like a six months later because obviously I've missed the boat with the initial review because the tech channel for me, I always miss the boat. I, I, I wait too long before I do anything and then it just becomes like, oh, should I even bother? Back in the day, I, I, I did enjoy, I should, I should get back on it and I will. So um, moving on, moving on. Uh, Mr. Q, Mr. Quintonia, I'm always thinking back to things I wish I could change. <laughs> as far as the subject, talk about and keeping away from anything controversial. <laughs> yeah, good point. Uh, hobbies, I have four or five, lol. Hobbies, what hobbies do I have? I have YouTube, which is a hobby. I have technology, mobile phones, computers, which is a hobby. Computer games, console games, bit of a hobby. Don't really do that much anymore. Gym, I absolutely love the gym and hiking. So yeah, I've got, I've got quite a few hobbies on the quiet. So all those things you probably already know because I've probably already made videos about them. So what else? What else? 
Mr. Pyro, take some meditation classes, go on some yoga classes. Yeah, he's just answering the first part of the video, not the question. He's just saying, do some mindfulness and yoga, which I should do, really, in fairness. Carl Harvey, my number one super fan. Love you, Carl. Uh, what are you saying? Funny you should talk about clearing your mind, as I was too. Huh. Tried it for a split second. Did it. Bloody amazing. <laughs> At the moment, it seemed to last minutes, but then something popped in. <laughs> right, topics. Mm. Elon Musk, AI, Lego. Pick any one. Lego is probably one of the greatest inventions in the world ever. That deserves its own video. AI, artificial intelligence. Is all intelligence artificial? You know, it's only electricity, isn't it? But uh, I think it's a fascinating subject. And when the machines do come online that take over the world, especially that dog that can open doors, I think we're all, we're all in trouble, basically. So that's a separate video as well in itself. Uh, Elon Musk is probably one of the greatest people in the universe. He's made a spaceship to launch his car into space and it landed back on the planet. I think that is fascinating. I'd, genuinely, not like my, this is fascinating. He is fascinating. He's one of these people that's just a multi-billionaire that just, just can't stop. He's got enough money to just stop, to just go to Mexico and sit on a sun lounger and just drink cocktails. He has enough money to just do that forever. But no, he's got to keep making flamethrowers and electric cars and spaceships. Really cool guy. In fact, if I could meet anyone in the world, uh, I'd probably want to meet him. He is pretty awesome, you know. My idea of like someone that's worth actually, I'd love to book to him and ask. I don't know what I'd ask him, um, but I'd, I'd, I'd like to meet him. He's a, he's a cool guy. Anyway, morning friend. That's just Andy saying hello, Andy Vision. And that's it really. So I did get some questions. I did answer them. I've probably spoke for around six minutes about utter garbage, but it was great because I didn't have to think. I, th I had to think even less than I would normally think on one of these videos because people were just thinking for me. So that was Talkie Vlog 10. Mana ba da ba I look like an evil Jedi, you know, Sith. I always, I, I do wear hoods up quite a lot and I probably look too old and stupid when I do it. But I just, it's just comforting. It's comforting. Really going to go now. I'm at seven minutes. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye.